The GMC Yukon and its long wheelbase sibling, the Yukon XL, share a not very well kept secret. Despite their upmarket positioning and individual styling touches, they are based on the same blueprint as the Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban. That's a good thing, as GM's full-size SUVs share a choice of two tried-and-true V8s, as well as an efficient and torque-rich diesel engine rated for up to 27-mile PG highway. The Yukon & Co. have an independent rear suspension that goes a long way towards improving their ride and handling. compared with the previous generation's solid rear axle. Inside, there are three rows of seating for up to eight passengers and oodles of space for cargo and lifestyle accouterment. You can outfit the Yukon as basic or as luxe as you like, including the well-appointed Denali and Denali Ultimate trims. Three liter V8 that's standard on the elevation and AT4. The Denali and Denali Ultimate have a standard 420 par 6.2 liter V8, which is also available on the AT4. Meanwhile, every model is compatible with the diesel 3.0 liter inline six that now makes 305 horses and 495 pound feet of torque, up from 277 horses and 460 pound feet. All Yukon models have a 10 speed automatic transmission and either rear or all-wheel drive. For 2025, the gear shifter moves from buttons on the dashboard to a more user-friendly lever on the steering column. The off-road oriented AT4 model features a two-speed transfer case, 20-inch wheels with all-terrain tires, underbody skid plates, and an optional air suspension capable of providing up to two more inches of ground clearance. While all three powertrains are capable, we find the diesel's low down torque and significantly better fuel efficiency particularly well suited to the Yukon's mission and heft. 060 mm hour times. When we tested a Denali model with the 6.2 liter V8, we recorded a six. Powertrain updates are limited to a more powerful version of the Duramax diesel 3.0 liter inline six. Pricing and which one to buy. The price of the 2025 GMC Yukon Fly Yukon XL is expected to start around $64,000 and go up to $102,000 depending on the trim and options. GMC hasn't yet revealed pricing for the 2025 Yukon lineup. The new elevation trim replaces the entry-level SLE and SLT, which last year started at about 60K and 67K respectively. We think the elevation will fall somewhere in between, and unless you're transporting VIPs, that's the model that make the most sense. Of course, for folks who need to reach a remote cabin or who plan to go off-roading, the AT4 is the better choice. The 2025 Yukon is scheduled to go on sale before the end of the year, and we'll update this page with pricing details as soon as they are available. Engine, transmission, and performance. The Yukon offers a choice of two gas-fed V8s and a diesel engine. There's a 355 horsepower 5. Even so, there's enough wiggle room between the Yukon and the Cadillac Escalade which also shares the bulk of its underpinnings with the GMC and Chevy models in terms of pampering, extroverted style, and available tech to justify the price gap between it and the big caddy. What's new for 2025? Cosmetic updates include a restyled front fascia with new grille and headlight designs. The Yukon's front and rear lighting elements can now play animations too. For the first time, there are flashy 24-inch wheels that are standard on the Denali Ultimate but optional on the regular Denali. The trim hierarchy gets a minor shakeup too, with the new elevation model replacing the former SLE and SLT. The new AT4 Ultimate also joins the lineup for 2025, blending the AT4's off-road credentials with luxury appointments that include massaging front seats, full grain leather covering all three rows, and open pour wood interior trim. The Denali Ultimate now offers second-row executive seating and a 22-speaker Bose audio system. 
GM's night vision with thermal object detection is a new tech feature, and the infotainment system adopts a vertical 16.8-inch touchscreen 